Now we will officially welcome her. Please do that for Vanna White. Vanna! A pirouette in purple, December 13th, 1982, and an epoch dawned in television history. Congratulations and welcome. Thank you. You're I am very excited and happy to be part of Wheel of Fortune. Now, 6,500 gowns later. Never the same one twice. And Vanna White, now 60 years old, still here, still loving it. I get all dressed up like a Barbie doll. I go out, I give someone else's money away, make them happy, and we all go home. In show business, no. There's nothing else I want to do. Thanks for coming. We'll talk to you later. We are behind the scenes. Somewhere along the line, we became more than a popular show. We became part of the popular culture. Vanna White, once an aspiring model from Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, has now carried the Olympic torch, appeared on the cover of Newsweek and Playboy, some pre-fame lingerie shots. When I became famous, Hugh Hefner decided to put me on the cover. I, he was a friend of mine, and I went to him and said, Hef, if you put these pictures on the cover, it could ruin my career. And he still put them on there. Did you remain friends? I didn't go to the mansion anymore after that. The Merriam-Webster Dictionary is now considering the verb to Vanna White for its pages. To Vanna White means to present. To present. He's already in the Guinness Book of Records. For most frequent clapper. I, they say I have clapped more than 3.9 million times. Wheel is right now celebrating its 35th season on our TV screens. Simple, massively successful. They shoot six shows a day, just four days a month. That's the gig. Ooh. Nice. I had to take two, two goes on there. <laughs> Not quite as easy as it looks. Ow! Not, see you what see? I mean? You see what I mean? I so caught my finger in the, in the thingy. Nothing lasts for 35 no. years. No. What are you I, doing? We're playing Hangman on TV, is what we're doing. It's Hangman with prizes. Vanna White, perhaps the main ingredient of this secret sauce. It's a nice little haven you have up here. Isn't it? It's my, my home away from home. Normally, backstages are yucky. But this has a chandelier. Well, I spend a lot of time here, you know, so they... Vanna, we've already established it's four days a month, right? <laughs> so... But they're long days. <laughs> Kathy has been dressing Vanna 28 years now. Kathy made this for me in 1995. I wear this every day I come to work. Their uh -huh. sartorial instincts now won. 188 bucks. Not bad, huh? Not bad. Not bad. We like to go sail shopping. I like wearing the short ones best. Okay. I do, just because I don't have, I don't trip. How long do you have between shows? Oh, 10 minutes. 10 minutes? Yes, we change very quickly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. We change the dress, we change the shoes, we change the lipstick. I'll stand in front of the, front of the mirror and I'll do a few of these. Before, before the go. show? Yes. Just to like pump them up? Well, before... yes. Yes. A girl's got to do what a girl's got to do. You know, you've also done very well out of this show. You've earned a lot of money. Yes, I have. I'm a businesswoman. You know, I have, have other investments, too. But real estate. I used to, a long time ago, I would, like, buy a house and flip it. But now uh -huh. everybody does that, so I don't do that anymore because there's no houses out there to okay. buy. <laughs> for someone who's been on TV for so long, Vanna White's actually quite a private person. So this, I don't quite know how it happened, is rare. Access to Casavana. I'm shy. I'm shy. I'm not outgoing. Really? I'm a homebody. I like staying home. But you're on TV. I am on TV. But you know what's interesting? How much do I talk on TV? This is my closet. Here we go. Walk-in closet. Oh, hello. There you go. Purses. Purses. Did you know she's big on crochet? So many people are having babies, so I, like, do it on airplanes. That. See that label? That's me. Next door, home gym. How many hours a day in here? Well, 45 minutes a day on this. This is my, my spin bike. And this doesn't happen every shoot. Right. Vanna White followed us around with a tray of snacks. Snacks? Someone's been out in the bubble good news I already. I know, I know. Yeah. It's all I had laying around. She has a rep as a pool hustler. That was lucky. I better get some chalk. Has her own table here at home. <gasps> did you see that? Yep, I did. <laughs> Who's getting hustled here? <laughs> 
She has two kids, was married to George, divorced in 2002, now has a boyfriend, John. We've been together for six years. He's great. Uh, we get along terrific. He's like a male version of me. I met him through my best friend. He was hesitant when she said, you know, I have a girlfriend that I want you to meet, Vanna White. He goes, oh, no, I, I don't want those Hollywood people. I, I'm not interested in that. OK. But as he said, I'm just the opposite of that. Her father, back home in South Carolina, still watches Wheel every day. He's going to be 92 next month. I call him every day to say hello. Have you ever had a massive fight with Pat? No. I've never had one fight with him. Really? One, one fight. What was that about? Putting ketchup on my hot dog. He does not like that. How can you eat ketchup on a hot dog? I've been trying to kind of find something bad about her. She has no prison time stories to talk about. She is who she is. Pat didn't say anything bad about you backstage. He didn't? Whew. I'm striking out big style on the bad stuff. Have you ever thought about replacing her? Not for a second. If you say to Vanna, what do you do for a living? She won't say, well, I'm a facilitator and I hope one day to direct. And she goes, you know, I touch letters and they light up. And it's not exactly the most feminist job in the world? No, you know what, though? I feel like I hold my own on that show. I don't feel like it's degrading because I'm up there walking in a dress, touching letters, and I don't think people look at it that way anymore. They think of me and Pat as a team, as a couple that put on a good show. I'll be the first to make fun of what I do, absolutely, because it's a crazy job. But I love my job and it's great, and I think it brings a lot of happiness to people. And for the past 20 years, she's only had to touch the letters. It's automated. And by the way, these are TV monitors turned to the side. Right. Oh, touch the blue one. There you go. And she signed up for at least three more years. I'm Nick Watt for Nightline in Los Angeles.